I give because I would love patients to have the best medical treatment and care for the future. I give because the ministry of Baylor extends beyond the walls of Baylor. I give because I believe in the work that we do here in Irving and I get to see miracles every day. In Faith in Action, our whole purpose is to take the resources of uh, the Baylor system outside the walls, locally helping over 50 free access clinics in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, as well as internationally assisting hospitals and ministries around the world. I am just so thankful to work for an organization where the employees have an opportunity to be able to take their skills and knowledge outside of the walls of this hospital. There are children over there just like there are here with Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, flip and palate, cerebral malaria, and very limited resources, very limited professionals trained to work with um, this special population. We had a, a mother and a son who came to camp. The little boy's name was Hope. He had what the plastic surgeon called um, one of the most severe clefts he had ever seen. He had never even heard him speak. Throughout the days at camp, we worked with his mom and kind of taught her some, some different strategies to try to elicit his speech. Bubbles. Good job, ready? By the end of camp, he was speaking, interacting with the other kids. And it really is a story of hope. The employee giving campaign was a huge blessing to us to be able to, to take our skills and our resources over to Zambia to serve the people over there. The people who are involved in the nurse scholarships and the therapists that go return as different people. They enhance and strengthen what we have at Baylor. They invigorate what we are right here. And so it's a win-win. I give because Baylor gave to me four years ago when I started my training and, um, and I feel vested in the institution and feel like I should turn around and do the same for the people that gave to me. The residency experience here is unique in that it, it really personifies uh, continuity of care. Few residency programs allow you to, from day one, have a set of patients that you see from the onset of your training until you finish your training. I started going to the Baylor Clinic back in 2002. I kept coming back because of the relationship that I established with Dr. Gartandi. I first saw Brittany in my first year of training. She'd had previous pregnancies that were she delivered early preterm, and so we kind of worked to keep her pregnant. I was considered a high-risk pregnancy, and he was there to make sure that I understood everything that was going on step by step, How many days and we make sure I was comfortable at all times, and you know, he was just there. The thing I learned the most from Brittany was, you know, that truly is the bond between a physician and a patient. Through my training, I had learned more about her personally, socially, um, emotionally, everything that she'd gone through over the course of my four years, and we grew together. I'm so grateful that my doctor received his training at Baylor. I give because Baylor makes us all better.